Palmer. Oh, Palmer. Palmer. Here we are, Cane Creek. We're coming up to the old tank now. I can see our tank. Hold on, we're just trying to speed it up a little. Get to it. Yeah, but chipmunk. Chipmunk. Chipmunk, yeah. Get your picture of your chipmunk. He's coming to the train. No feeding the chipmunks. All this wild water is from the snow melt. Up in the mountains of Silverton. The Needleton Mountains. And stuff. You'll see it when we get going, the waterfall. Hey, there's another one. Look, look, there's another one. He's up on the rocks on this side. If you want him, you might want to get another one here. He's up on the rock somewhere. You just missed it. There's chipmunks along the line. There's one up there somewhere. He just ran. He's up on the rock. You'll see him. He's just crawling around up there. He was right on this rock here where I'm looking at. He's somewhere up there. If you look up high enough, you'll see him come out. Yeah, there's two of them.
railroad is here from Durango right now. Val Harper, who owns it, from Durango doing the business for three. There you go, the curve.
Pledge. Oh, you guys are switching off?
why we keep jolting like this. What? Why we keep jolting forward and stuff. It's the nature of the trip back. Yeah. Nothing unusual happening. Yeah. the engineer because he just blew his whistles twice. For speed? Uh -huh. For speed? No, for a corner. Alright. Oh yeah, I see the corner right there. Oh yeah, there's the footbridge that we dropped someone off at. Are you going to go pick them up? No, they're going to stay up. Oh, nice. Camping for something? Yep. Oh. Wow, lucky. It says one size too tall, it doesn't. If you're gonna start drinking coffee, I don't drink coffee. I can't stand this stuff. Yeah, I know, but I can't stand it. I just don't know why I can't stand it, but I just can't. Earlier I saw someone mining for silver up on the river in Homorsa. And they found silver. Coins. Yeah, actual coins. We found like five of them. Showed it to us on the train. We were coming up. Let's see if we're stopping or not. Oh. And no scheduled stop. 
If he can do it by himself, I think he can. Go take a seat. the engineer because he just blew his whistle twice. For speed? Uh -huh. For speed? No, for a corner. Alright. Oh yeah, I see the corner right there. Oh yeah, there's the footbridge that we dropped someone off at. Are you going to go pick them up? No, they're going to stay up. Oh, nice! Camping for something? Yep. Oh. Wow, lucky. There's one size to the top, it doesn't.
when I start drinking coffee, I don't drink coffee. I can't stand the stuff. Yeah, I know, but I can't stand it. I just don't know why I can't stand it, but I just can't. Earlier I saw someone mining for silver up on the river in Homorsa. And they found silver. Coins. Yeah, actual coins. We found like five of them. Showed it to us on the train. We were coming up. No scheduled stop. If he can do it by himself, I think he can. Go take a seat.
was there during the last year. Last year. Sure you don't want to it, but it's good. There's a lot of them along the line. Looks like they had a cross over there. Yeah, I think they did at one point. Or they took, when they took out this track, put the new rail in, mm -hmm. they moved it over there, the old track. Here we go. Go up. The spout's up. But I did tell you the water tank was going, the stuff was going up. I did tell you. Well, I saw it went up, but they could, I, they stopped there one day, took the spot up, and we sat here for another 20 minutes. I wonder why. Because, um, what was wrong that day? Oh, the ash pan bracket broke. So they had to wire it up. So. Oh. Don't forget to close that gate. Why I'm getting off here. 
Oh yeah, when we get to Needleton? Where, well, we're at Needleton, we get yeah. to the south end of Needleton. Yeah, 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 south end of Needleton. Uh, I'm not even going to hang this up, I'm just going to keep it with you. Keep it right here. Good. You could put it on the seat if you want. Alright. And you can leave it there and I can watch it for you. Alright. You guys use this channel? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do. But instead of a flag, we have a flare. We just we use flares, that's it. We've got six. Keep six. Yeah. We got the flag and we got torpedoes. We got torpedoes and and those other ones, the flash thing. But we don't have the flag. We don't use the flag. Unless we have to. We use the flag with torpedoes. Yeah. Yeah. That tank right there was called Manaphy Restored because it filled with water and tip over to the south. It's not yeah. struck to the sound anymore. Wow. It's a great tank though. I don't yeah, know. it is. There's nothing quite like steam. Yeah, it, there is nothing like steam. Yeah. You know, I love trains, but diesel is a completely different animal. Yes, sir, in the back of the coach right in front of us. do a freight train on my own with some passenger coaches behind it. We have passed, uh, we don't normally do it, but this is kind of like a What are you doing on it then if you're not working? I'm going to Tall Timber. Oh, where is Tall Timber from here? So, Tall Timber from here? Yeah. Is it on along the line? Yeah, it's um, just past Cascade. Okay. So we'll be stopping in Tall Timber or something, or are we going to go straight through it? We're going straight through it. Good. Just the uh, 61. The 461 ones? 
stop to call Kimber? Every morning and every afternoon. Okay. Hey, there's the old mill I've been looking for. There's a mill in the back without the wheels. And it's behind the trees. Really? That's an old mill. They used to cut the railroad ties with. Interesting. With, with the trees. It's all on the DVD. You should get the DVD. It's expensive. I don't want to no, buy it. No, it's you, with your discount. I do get a discount. Yeah, so you can get it. It's not expensive. They play it. I think they play it in the museum. I just don't watch it. Yeah, they do. They do it in that um, green car. Yeah. Why is that car green, anyways? It's the original Pullman Green. I saw the RGS caboose you got in the roundhouse, the museum, and that car in front of it. What car was that originally? I have no Do you think that could be restored, that car, if they could run it? How easy is it to restore a car, I wonder? I don't know. It depends on what shape it's in. So that one looks pretty bad. It needs a whole overhaul. Because if they could rebuild it, they could put it back here behind this train car. No, nothing ever goes behind this one. Because this one goes usually up front, I've seen. This car goes in front and then another car is behind it. I've, I've seen I was, it that way. Hmm. I think it's in our timetable rules that this one doesn't. Yeah, because I know I've seen it on videos and stuff behind. The, in front of the red Pullman cars. The red cars. The presidential ones? That one, and then the Nomad. B3? Yeah. Yeah. Because usually, that's, there's a car behind it. It's in front of a car. 410. Oh, there's no restriction on this car. Interesting. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Told you so. Hmm. B2, no more than 3 from the rear. B11, no more than 4 from the rear. B3, B7, and a boost from the B on the end. Yep. See, I told you. Huh. Yeah, I've seen it in YouTube videos that this car was up in front of the red cars. And then the Silver Vista was in the back. I don't know. You should check it out. That's whatever, you know, I do. I put them where they tell me to put them. Yeah, if you go on to YouTube and type in Durango and Silver Tin, yeah. uh, which one was it? I think 486. It shows it. You should check it out when you get home. Offloading rafts. Offloading? Yep. So they're getting off or on? Okay. No, we're leaving the rafts here, and yeah. they're staying on. Oh, the rafters? So who's going to pick up the rafts? The rafters. The truck? No. Or us? Us tomorrow. Well, not me tomorrow, because I'm working. You're lucky. And I'm lucky, too. I don't have to work tomorrow, either. I've got, like, two hours to tell them from here? Yeah. One and a half. If you take Highway 160. Go up 160 down to like Farmington and over? No, you go 160 to Pagosa. Pagosa all the way to Chama. Oh, okay. It goes a lot faster that way. It's up from, because it's an hour from Durango to Pagosa, so it's like an half an hour from... Pagosa, Pagosa to, Dur to Chama, yeah. Oh, that's not bad. No. No, it's not. How much are your tickets down there? A lot cheaper than you guys. Give me a ballpark. I'd have to look it up. I don't remember off the top of my head. I would have to th let me think. Hold on. Because our regular class tickets are eighty-seven. Yeah, I think the regular classes are like maybe sixty. Yeah. Yeah, a lot cheaper than you guys. Do you guys have open dons? Or yep. Yeah? We got open cars and everything without roofs. See, I don't want a roof. Yeah, we have one of those gondola cars that used to be like a coal car uh -huh. that we converted into passenger car. It says even Cobras and Toltec on it. Passenger car. Oh, we dropped someone off. Yeah, we dropped all of that off. Actually, not all of that off. No, no, that's what we 
Yeah. The other stuff back there we dropped off this morning. Yeah, they're going. They're going rafting. And then they're going to camp out, I guess. I hate this flag. Okay. What's wrong? That thing keeps opening? Yeah, I can't remember all this. Why don't you weld it back when you get back to the yard? Because I don't know how to weld. Ask them at the where they fix the steamer. Ask them at the steamer. I'll just let someone else deal with it. Look at those flares. They look bad. They're just covered in, like, dust. Yeah, like, they need to be clean. The, the, oh, they still, they still light on fire, believe me. Good. We haven't used, had to use it yet. Who? Oh, the flares? Yeah. When? Or what? When the, well, I this train wasn't using them. I had to drop them one day when we had that broken fork in our ash pan. Yeah. Um, I was I dropped two of them. Yeah. But we have ammo boxes of them back in Durango. Good. So we just go replenish them. They, yeah. They cost like a quarter of these. That's not bad. That's super cheap. Yeah, that's not a bad deal. I normally keep a couple in my grip as well. Yeah. Isn't 12 and up supposed to be into this car? No little kids? I thought the, that was the rule. Those two got upgraded because there were some seating issues. Yeah. So, you know, everything is that can be done with jurisdiction. Yeah. Okay. Because that's what it says online, you know, one 12 or above can be in here. That's what normally this is, but. It's an extraordinary circumstance. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. I don't care. I like it. Well, they're not little, little ones. They're not crying. No. That's what most people don't want. They don't want little ones, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, they're all over here. Yeah, look. Cute. At uh, Tank Creek, they come up to us because. Yeah, they do. One I of the saw it. One of the brakemen started cheating carrots. Who? <laughs> Which one? Uh, I think someone told me it was Mark. Oh, he's gonna get in trouble if he does that. Then it'll become a habit. Well, he can't be the only one that does it. Yeah. There are massive nice chipmunks out there. Yeah, there are. I, I watch passengers throw popcorn off Oh, that's dumb of them. Don't you guys enforce it or something? Not just let throw out trash? Like food or something? Because I saw a water bottle at Tank Creek up on the rocks. Someone threw it from a train. I know, sometimes they fall off. Yeah. A lot of the time our speedo car, speeder car will pick them up. Yeah, it's way up high. You can't even reach it. It's where the waterfall is. Well, no, Creek. you couldn't have thrown it up there. Someone threw it up there, it looks like. It's a full water bottle. Looked like it was from the earlier train that went through the 482. Maybe. But they didn't get caught. They need to be caught for that. If we see it, we out them. If we don't see it, we out them. We can get it. Yeah, true. You're right about that. At least we're getting going home. That's one good thing. You can relax when you get home. I can relax when the trip down is a lot less. Why don't you? No, I am. This is relaxing. Just sit in the chair and relax. Oh, Take a nap. You got me here to watch. I go to wake you. Do you still have it? Bits and pieces of it. Oh, you 
took it all apart? I did, they took it apart. Yeah, they are. It ran like a champ until it didn't, though. And what it was was the, uh, Mo the motor. Well, it had a, a dual motion coder in it. So yeah, it DCC. Well, if you do DC or DCC, it could yeah. select on its own. Yeah. And yeah, it, I know what you mean. I have one of them. Same exact thing on my engine. It and tried, it works just fine. Well, I tried to switch over by itself. Yeah. It's a DCC. Chuck in the, the drive current. Drive yeah. Motor. Ooh, that's not good. At that point, I had it all torn apart. Throw it out. Just throw it out. Good. Do you have any coaches that went with it at the Santa Fe? No. What kind of cars did you run on? I ran a basic race kind of thing. Oh, good. Good idea. That's a clever idea. I put together everything I had. Because I have an El Capo 10 passenger car. Yeah. That's his El Capo 10. Those are nice. Yeah. But they're Sam. They're 150 to 500 bucks on and, eBay. Uh, do you have to play the ones? Yeah. Oh. Not again. I do that too. Yeah. That's why I'm against the pole now. I'm not going to do that. I'm probably against the pole. We must be coming up to Tank Creek because it's mile post 10. Mind him because he's been doing this morning. I know. Coming down from Oscar a lot. Uh, <laughs> Hold on tight. Because I feel it's going slower. <laughs> so is the locomotive controlling the car brakes or who's controlling them? Okay, there's that independent brake, huh? That controls the cars. There's two brakes. The big brake and the small brake. We, well, we have two. We have the... The big one. The big we have, we have the automatic and the straight air system. Yeah, yeah, that's what we got in Chamo too. But the second one we use for the air brakes for the cars. We converted it to the air brake for the cars. Good idea, yeah. We have the, 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 the two different air levers, two different locomotive brakes. Yeah. Yeah. We use those a lot in Chama, the locomotive brakes. We have to when we go up the Kroomer's Pass. Because it, it's so fast, it's so steep. And if we go too fast down, the train goes out of control. That's what I use it all the time when I'm driving.
gonna be real late getting back. Maybe. So if we're supposed to be back by 6.30, how are we gonna make up time? Oh, wait, no, we're actually... On time. We're actually early? Yeah, we're right about on time. Yeah, I thought that. You were reading it wrong, huh? No, we left 15 minutes late, it's overtime. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah, because we got an extra 15 minutes. They let us at dispatch, huh? Take an extra 15? No, we just Because you guys were on that side for an awful long time. Probably, I thought for half an hour. Yeah, but I thought it was a long time. Because when I was done eating, I came looking for you guys. You were at the Y. Normally, we uh, do it quick. We got there late, so... There were seats originally in the San Juan, but there, I don't see any now. there's going to be any seats in the San Juan because I think it's a full car. I just looked in there earlier. There was nothing that I saw. If you want that car. Yeah. You can go look if you want. He's already heading up to the other end of the train to talk to those guys about your Super Dam mug. Smoke's not that bad back here. They forget. You remind me, and I'll remind them at the depot to give it to you when we get in. I'll go tell them at the cafe to give you your mug for free.
I'm the other brakeman for this train. That's why there's two of us. I'm one, and he's the other guy. He's the one that's training me to do the brakeman job. Grab a hole or something, we're coming up to Pink Creek, I think. Another lady was using it for a boat rest. Facing that way. I don't know if it's still open. Want me to go look if he doesn't come back? You sure? I'm willing to go look. Okay. Okay, here he comes with your souvenir mug. Okay, here's your mug. He's coming with it. I think, I don't know. If not, just remind me. Oh, oh yeah, he has it. Here comes someone from the concession car with the mug. I did see one seat open where a lady had her foot up. There was one seat open. She put her one lady was putting her feet on it. Yeah, because it's turned. The other seat was facing this way, one was facing that way. I saw some stuff.
right here is good enough as is. We don't normally pick up people in the green main park for the backpack. Yeah. Good idea. That's only if we're like the wall of our Yeah. It's not raining I like it was this morning. We can do some rain. Yeah, we could. What's the weather in Durango right now? I wonder. for the um, pumpkin patch one. I'll be back for that. And then I'm done. Unless they need me for the winter train. And Polar Express. I might do Polar Express this year. Here we are. After you. We're not quite there yet, but you guys still clear the bridge. Yeah, I know, if but I'm stop saying... If you me in the middle of the bridge, I'm not getting up from the train. Yeah, don't bother. Stop us here. Yeah. Uh, barely cleared it, sorry. Are you gonna stay on or get off? Okay, fine with me. I'll be here. Talking. Our engineer? Dispatch? Uh, yeah, this is. No, 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 Which number are we? Four. Six. Oh, that's Four. what we're. Six. It's us talking yeah. to? That's the other train. They're saying they got to Rockwood, which is just past the highway. Okay. That's about right. Yeah, they should be at Rockwood by now. Uh, oh, yeah, they should pass it already, yeah. Which we actually got, because we were behind, we have uh, the correct spacing between the trains. Good. It's only on the way down the, between the 64 and the 66, we only have half an hour. Yeah. We're like 15 late, so we have Because, hmm. yeah, we let it, the other one go ahead of us. They always go ahead of yeah, us. Yeah, we let them this time. They usually let us, us go ahead of them, right? Who usually goes ahead of who? It goes one three five two four six. Mm. Okay. Get back. Might get another chance to see the train when we go over the Highline Bridge. You know where these are going on to my videos? It's going on to YouTube. And the pictures, both. This is level 5 rafting stuff. That's what it is. Level 5. The dangerous level. Oh, I like this. We are getting level 1, right? <laughs> 
Level one is over by Durango. Yeah, that's a level maybe three. Get ready, you'll see some steam blow off. Once we get over the bridge, you'll see it blowing off steam on the sides through the cylinder cocks, they're called. from ropes on these rocks over here. They were pounding hand drills into the rocks to set black powder charges. It didn't have dynamite then. Whoa. Then That's they'd all like their fuses at the same down. time and get pulled out of the way of the blast. You don't want to be the guy whose match goes out if everybody else's match is working. But they lived in uh, wood huts that were only two logs high. If
if they had families, you know, it was like living in a wood pup tent in the winter in the mountains. This is 1881. They made $2.25 a day. And if they had families, they dug holes in the mountain sites for the families to live because the caves were warmer than the log huts. And, and what year was this? Uh, what, this was the winter was of 1881 to 82. 81 this whole 45 mile route took 11 months. These two and a half miles took about three of those. And so. the railroad's the actual oldest one before the forest actually came. The railroad was first before the forest. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was. But it says it on the DVD. I'm going to have to buy one of those. Yeah, that's what it says on the DVD. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, this was the lifeline to Silverton back then. We would mostly haul coal north and, and the things that a city needs to survive, and then we'd haul ore back south where the coal was and where the smelters were. So originally we were the lifeline to Silverton. So I'm told that Silverton was the second most important city in the state back then, that all the important families of, uh, of the state had uh, houses in sorts back wow. then. So. Yeah, like me, I have a house now. Okay. In Durango. <laughs> oh, well, I'm talking silver. Yeah. I'm All the, uh, I'm ta I hear a group in time, rock and felt, rock and felt, rock and felt, things like that. Uh, houses in silver back then. Yeah, they did. So, uh, I'm going to have to give you one of those guide books. The DVDs? The DVDs, yeah. I remember I have footage of it from when I was like maybe age 10 when the break was set. Uh -huh. That the railroad, the actual oldest of the, before the forest came. When I was on the ride the first time, that's what he said. Well, if we were here first, then we should have a right to burn it down, right? Yep. <laughs> yep, the doodles. I saw that helicopter dropping water. Yeah, that, I don't know where that fire, fire is. Yeah. yeah I, kind of, I saw smoke way back there by Shinona. Yeah, I didn't have, I swear I had nothing to do with that. I know. I, I, I was at work. I believe you. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm on your side. Exactly. You, you'll service my alibi. Right? Yes, I'll service your alibi. Nobody has ever fallen down there and drowned. Oh my God. Not Bob's yet. Bob's got him every time. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> if a derailment wanted to throw rocks on the train and knock it over, they could. I don't know that. They, it says on the TV at any time. Oh. If they cause rock slide and stuff, they could not use over at any time. Oh. It's up oh, in the concession car. One, one They're 25 bucks to piece up the DPs oh. and the booklet. Go buy yourself one. Right. First, I'll go to the library and see if I can get it free. They don't have it at the library. They don't? Not the tracks of the time. Oh no, I can get that in point. It's a DVD in point price. I don't know why I haven't done it. So can I. Because I volunteer my time here. That's what I'm here for. I'm not I'm usually supposed to be running 318 right now, the Denver Rio Grand Western. That's up in Chama right now. From the Colorado Railroad Museum. They restored that engine to run in condition. What are they gonna do with it? They're running it. Running on this route? No, they're running on the Cobras and Toltec. Because I'm in charge of the engine. It's mine. I own it. Yeah, so I am bringing it for Rail Fest. Because 315 boiler is completely off. They took it all apart, 315. It's in pieces right now. Did you document it with a video or anything? I got pictures of 315, yes. Yeah, when I was here for Rail Fest, yeah. I saw the Eureka, the Goose, everything. The clouds, the clouds are bad. Yeah, we're, it might rain while we're up here. Uh, There is. I just saw the sign way down below. Well, I saw the sign, but I don't know what that one says. I don't know if that's the It says no trespassing on the High Line. Except for the train. Yeah, it says careful at your own risk.
those other cars are not fun to ride in. Let me say that. The open cars over there, they're not fun to ride in. Their seats are comfy. They're wood. I did too. Hey, I feel rain. I just felt rain. Oh, I feel it. It's raining. It's actually raining. Careful, you're going to get your land wet. It's raining. Get ready, you're going to see some blow off soon. When we cross over the Highline Bridge, it's going to blow off some steam. That's what the engineer does. Oh yeah, it's raining. Crap. Good.